Well, hello everybody, Brian Brewer here and welcome to another tip of the day. And today we're going to be talking about character controls and how can we customize character controls to make them ours, uh, make them interesting. Um, I'm going to just show you a little bit, touch on the topic of how you can take control of your controls. Uh, one of the things that Motion Builder did, and I don't know why, well, Autodesk really, right? So Auto, we used to have toes and Autodesk got rid of the toes and now we would like to get our toes back in the main panel. We don't want to have to click this little button and then be able to click our toes in order to animate them or lock them or whatever. It's just kind of a pain. How can we get our toes back? Uh, and how can we customize the overall look for this? I'm going to show you this um, hopefully quickly, easily and concisely. Um, and if you like this, you know, you know what they say, uh, hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit subscribed. And if you want to grow this community, be sure to share this because um, that's kind of the goal. We want to we want to grow this community and make it stronger. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, update this. So we're going to have to set up a few things first. So I'm going to minimize motion builder and i'm going to go show you where to find a couple of files that you're going to need uh, they're going to be on your c drive under program files uh, autodesk i'm going to do this in motion builder 2020 although you can do this in pretty much any version of motion builder including 2022 so i'm going to click on tw the version i'm using uh, go to bin system then i'm going to look for character controls, and I'm going to look for uh, character controls config. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it onto my desktop. There it is right here. I'm just going to move this into place so it's easy to access and find. Uh, so that's the first thing I want to copy over. The reason why I'm doing this is because sometimes uh, saving into a into the program files directory can be problematic. Uh, all right, now I'm going to go into my default images, and I'm going to search for full body this thing right here so i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste this out here full body like that and we're just going to put that right here for right now uh, next i'm going to open up photoshop and i'm going to go nav it to where i save that image on my desktop full body there it is i'm going to open that up and I'm going to get the dimensions. What What is the size of this? So image, image size, it is uh, 250 by 380. All right, I'm gonna keep that number here for now or off to the side so I don't forget it. I'm gonna hop back inside of Motion Builder. All right, so now I'm inside of Motion Builder. I'm gonna go to my hit control F to go to my front view uh, down in my camera controls I'm gonna go find my producer front I'm gonna double click on that and I'm gonna go to picture format um, custom I'm gonna do fixed resolution and I'm gonna go grab that it was what 250 by um, I can't believe I already forgot it 380, 250 by 380. And so all I'm doing right now is I'm just adjusting my uh, resolution for when I render this out. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go and I want to grab that image because I want to match my character relatively closely to what the background image looks like. So I'm going to go to videos. I'm going to right click on videos and say I'm going to insert video. I know video. It's an image. It's not a video. Go to the desktop, find that full body PNG, open that up. And then under textures, I should have, where is it? Er, videos. Of course, now I have to find it. Did I not open this up? I could have swore I just opened this up. 
I'll try that again. Insert video, full body, open. There it is, full body. There it is, under textures, full body. All right, so now I'm gonna head over to my cameras. All right, let me make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to drag my texture up into my front view panel. And it's gonna give me an option, do I wanna put it in my foreground or my background? Well, I'm gonna put it into the background. So now if I zoom out, you can kind of see uh, that image in the background plate. I'm going to double click on producer front. I'm gonna turn off that grid, make it a little bit easier to see. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to start lining uh, my character up with the background image. I'm just going to get it close. So let's see here. I'm just going to move this around like that. Zoom in a little bit. Let's lower that arm. Rotate this hand like so. And she has some long legs, doesn't she? All right, get those feet, make that a little bit higher. Uh, I'm not gonna, I don't need to go in and really work hard on posing both sides of the body. I just really need to get one side because then what I can do is I can go into my pose controls and, oh, first I'm gonna set a full body key on her. There we go. And then I'm going to copy that pose and then I'm just going to go to the body part mode, go to my other arm and my leg, hit mirror and paste. Boom. There you go. Uh, let's turn off mirror so get rid of that. And just kind of get her in place. All right. So that looks good. Right there. All right. So I'm just going to one more time in full body mode, hit a key. I just want to make sure that um, if I scrub the timeline, she doesn't move. Okay, so now I'm going to set this to like one frame there. So it's like basically two, two frames of animation, zero and, and one. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to uh, get rid of my background because I really don't need that uh, character in the background anymore, that, that back plate. So I'm just come down here to my back plate. And I'm just going to remove all. There we go. Got rid of my background plate. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to render this out. So I'm going to go File, Render. My render settings popped up in a different window. Ah, that's fine, I'll put it right here. I'll let it dock. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna render this out as a Targa, a TGA. And I'm gonna make need to make sure it's set from 24-bit to 32-bit. And the reason why I want that is it's gonna create an alpha map that I can use inside of Photoshop. And just make sure everything's correct eh, from the camera. Yeah, 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 that, okay, that looks good. I'm hit render. Oh. Let me make sure I'm going to the desktop. Yep, going to the desktop and render. Successfully rendered. All right, so now I'm gonna minimize this. And if I look at my desktop, I have two images that have exported. I'm just gonna pull this over here and I'm gonna look at her. So there she is, right there. Uh, now if I go over to my channels, you can see I have an, I have an alpha map, so that's going to make it easy to select. Oh, uh, let's see, try that again. Wrong, <laughs> wrong one. There we go. Select that. And come back to my layer. There she is. 
and I can delete that if I want to. Or actually what I want to do is I want to create a background. So I'm going to, oh, there we go. That's what I want to do. Uh, unlock that layer, pull that up there. I'm not a Photoshop expert, so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to hide her for a second. I want to go grab the gradient from here. So it's eyedropper that light gray up here. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of match this background down there. Go to my gradient, hop back over to her. Now let's see here. No, wrong way. There we go. Let's go this way. Uh, let's see, you can do whatever you want for the background. You can make it whatever colors you want. I'm just going to go with the colors that they have. Okay, let's turn her back on. All right. So now, whew, now let's cut out that background. So there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and control E to merge that down, select all copy and copy that. Now I'm going to paste it over this just to kind of make sure I've got everything lined up. When I'm happy with this, I'll just merge all this down and just hit save. So it is now saved here on my desktop. And we can minimize, get rid of motion builder for now. So now I'm gonna name, I'm gonna rename this full body to something else. I'm gonna call this um, full body uh, BH for brew house. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna look at these character controls. We're gonna open these up. So I downloaded Notepad++. Uh, Notepad++. Uh, this is a really great, it's free. Uh, you can get it uh, through Nine Night. Um, I'm gonna open up the character controls. And the, rate, the reason why Notepad++ is great is because you can look at all the XML and it's actual, you know, kind of a color-coded native kind of language. and. But you can do this in any in any uh, notepad or Word doc that uh, opens up text files or XML files. All right, so I'm going to look for full body, and it's right here. And basically, I just need to say, call it full body bh, full body underscore bh for brew house, and save. All right. Was easy. Close that. Now I'm gonna drop my full body image. Copy that, and I'm gonna paste it into here. Continue. And you can see it pop up right there. I'm gonna get my character controls. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go up a level. I'm gonna paste that here. Oh, uh, cancel. <laughs> Almost forgot. I'm gonna. I need to rename this character config to bh. Make everything uh, consistent. Now I'm gonna copy and paste it over into here. Continue. There it is, We're sitting right next to the character control config. Now let's hop back over to Motion Builder. And let's get rid of this render here. Don't need that anymore. All right. So now. Here's where the magic happens. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click on this uh, little blue thingamajig up right there. I'm going to go down to Edit Controls, and if you click on this little triple, this little dash line up here, you can actually tear it off very similar to the way Maya tears off some of its um, menus. I'm going to say Load UI Configuration. I'm going to go find the one that I just created, which is BH. I'm going to click open. And you can see it switched from the default to, well, her. And I've actually done this with a couple of things. So you can, you can make a whole bunch of these. Uh, you can make a whole bunch of these if you want to. So I'm going to 
load another one that I did. I did um, TB for that twin blast guy. So now I've got his right here. Uh, but now let's, I want to get my toes back. How do I get my toes back? Um, well, it takes a little bit of editing of that uh, document, uh, that XML uh, document. And I'm going to be quite honest with you. I am not an expert at XML at all. Uh, I did work with a guy who did help me, um, uh, or he gave us uh, an XML code uh, that we can use. So, uh, uh, let's see, keep this in the editor. No. All right, there we go. So, uh, so in here, this has been edited so that. I get my toes back essentially. So all I have to do is say Belka. Actually, I want to change it the full body to underscore BH for brew house and save. And I'll drop this back up in here. So copy, paste, continue. So there, that one's in there now. Now, when I come up here and I say load configuration, uh, see, where is it? There it is. Open that. It pops up and now you can see I've got my toes back. I no longer have those little uh, drop downs that um, are that, like the hands that switch me over to the feet. I've got just, I got my toes back. So, uh, that being said, I do have a resource and this will, this will be the first time I do this. Uh, there's another user. I don't know this person's name. Uh, their name is KT Mobu. I'm going to put the link in the description here and they have a whole download where you can download their, uh, this person's version of it. So I'm going to go load their version. You can see that they have updated all their nodes. So, hey, if anybody knows how to how to like better edit these and get our toes back and just kind of the inner workings, I'd love to know how to how to do this. Uh, leave leave a comment and and let us know how to do this. But uh, anyway, that is my tip of the day. If you found this helpful, you know, please like this video and and uh, if you haven't already subscribed and Again, share with people so that, you know, we all get better at what we do. So anyway, there you go. Motion Builder tip of the day, how to change your character controls.